this is why you should use a fume extractor when soldering. <laughs> Gross. Good. So today we're going to improve the fume extractor I built according to the instructions from DIY Perks. Basically it's just a paper box with fans and a tube to bring the bad air out of the window. Maybe I'm also using too much flux, but there always is room for improvement. So let's have a quick tour about what this thing can do. So at first you see the fans. In the front, the two computer fans. So I'm pretty proud of my MacGyver screws to hold them in place because I didn't have any. So, and basically, it has two flaps you can open, and then you have the place where you can solder and the fume is extracted into the vents. So, if we turn it upside down, we see two things. At first, here's a power plug for 12 volts DC made by uh, yeah, a lot of hot glue and the 5 meter long tube and in there I can store like the power adapter and some bubble foil I actually added some magnets in there so it plop, it can be easily attached and repelled so but it has a few downsides so when i attach this you see it's not very tight so we need to improve this because we want the fumes to go out the pipe and not back in the room if you are actually working like this, here like this, you don't have much room to practice your soldering. Last downside is um, it's basically a box. I store it on the cupboard, on the shelf, somewhere away. So I have to always, when I want to use the soldering iron, I have to set it up and pack it away and make everything work and so it's so it's not that bad but due to that i'm not using it as often as i should use it i prepared something Ta -da. so i didn't want to invent everything twice i just cut the front side of the the old um, box out switched the rotors on the other side and what i can do is we can build a small box in the big box like this the air comes like this and will be pushed out at the back so last thing i have to do is to add the power outlet make a hole here and another here for the other pipe so as you see, the exhaust pipe is installed already. I used the one from the last project and I sealed it up with sticky tape. Being as clever as I am, I measured the outside diameter of the tube and not the inside, which is a bit smaller, which is a bit smaller. And I cut the outside ring and not the inside and therefore it's a little oversized, but it should work as well. Wiring complete. Before I thought of having the outlet on top, for convenience reasons, um, I flipped it around in order to release the stress on the junction here. So now it can just rest like this when it's not needed and it won't be needed 99% of the time. So the easiest way to fix them is together. You just cut the box into this shape, cut the middle out and then I just stapled it all together just like this and this actually works quite well so i'm using this on the other side for like a year and it never came off so here we are try to test the huge factor who is actually working so we can check also the other side so it's working I wanted to create some kind of nozzle for the top, something like 
Opa, like this. So I attach it there, but then I screw it up. And not worky worky. That's it. If you want to build your own, I recommend checking out the DIY Perks channel. I put the link in the description. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.